In my last tutorial, I taught you about writing a simple hello world program into the command prompt as well as in a dialog box. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about different variables which store data and uh, different sorts of types of data which you can store in variables. Now, to start off with, I'm going to, I mean, to, to, to start off, we're going to create a simple program which adds two numbers and then shows you in a GUI in a graphical user interface now as you see we have got the Java X dot swing imported here uh, oh no I think we should open a new file so we're gonna click new here and here since the thingy is gonna be graphical you have to import the sw swing library Oh, and you have to select the program here, Java. Import Java X dot swing dot J. Oh, sorry, dot star. Star will import everything which is inside the swing library. This is going to be a class called add numbers. So public class add numbers. Now it's a convention to name all the classes by an uppercase letter and then having an uppercase letter for every next word in the class name so uh, it, is, it is a lot better to follow the convention now as you know every Java file has to have a, men, a main method so main oh, sorry public sorry sorry public static void main and it has arguments which are an array of string uh, I know I'm gonna talk to you later about it now to add it to to add two numbers you need to have information about what those numbers are now we're gonna get the information about numbers from the user by showing them an input dialog box the user can type in the numbers that he wants to add inside the input dialog box and then the output gets shown to the user by show message dialog box now when the user inputs the number inside input dialog box the input has to be stored somewhere in here we are going to store the input in inside an integer variable now integer variable stores all integers so if you write 1.2 it is stored as 1 if you write 1.7 it is still stored as 1 if you were, if you want to store and I mean if you want to add numbers which have point 1.2 1.4 you need to have a double variable however if you want more precision you can use float but here to make a program simple we will use double so we define every variable by writing their type double now let's call it value one you can call anything you want except having uh, like uh, there are certain rules on naming variables which you have to experiment yourself double value one equals I mean now we have to store information about what the user has typed inside the input dialog box so we write in uh, j option pane dot show input dialog and inside there's just one parameter which displays a string inside the input dialog box which is a prompt to the user that please type in value 1 like that so we are gonna have please type in in a value now this is not going to work because whatever user types in is stored as string so you have to convert this whole thing into this type 
to do that we have a parsing method in the double class so you write double dot parse double sorry, dot parse double and then you enclose this inside brackets notice that this bracket closes this bracket and as I move my mount, my cursor here this bracket closes this bracket in the same way we will define another variable which is double value 2 calls double dot parse double j option pane dot show input dialog please type in another value oh look I forgot here to put in another bracket this bracket closes this bracket but there's no bracket to close in this bracket so I'll put another one so this bracket gets closed here now to add two values we need to have a another variable which will store the result so double result now if you see this all three all three variables are having the same type if I have result as integer that's gonna that's not gonna work because the calculation is in double and if the storage is an integer it's gonna crop all the points and it's gonna put in the whole number part so if the calculation turns out to be 23.04 then it's going to just write 23 so it has to be same now result equals value 1 plus value 2 now this adds the two values and stores it into the result variable now we have to show this to the user by using the show message dialog show is j option dot show message dialog and then we have to write in the result so the result of addition uh, no the, there is no parent container so the result of addition is and then plus result now this is what we need this is exactly what will the program do it will it will ask the user to type in a value it will ask and store it in the value one variable it will ask again to another value but here we have to value two sorry look each each variable has to be distinct we will ask the user to type in another value which will get stored into value two a new result variable has been declared here the result has been assigned as the value 1 plus value 2 and then the j option pane dot show message dialog pops up showing the result okay so we are good to go but we have to save the file as exactly as what the class name is add numbers dot java and now I'm gonna compile it exit core is 0 so we're good to go run it please type in a value 20 please have another value 10 hey I think it's right isn't it yeah <laughs> okay so now we're gonna that was a test for integers now I'm gonna run it another time once more and I'm gonna write in 1.2 click OK uh, 1.2 click OK it's 2.4 that's correct precisely so that was our simple tutorial on variables this was the addition then uh, the another type of thing which you can store is string string is just what the top the user types in so here the string can be like string to define a string variable you type in string and then the name echo right so here when I, here what we are gonna do is that we will get the input from the user and then we will echo it by saying hello right 
So I'm gonna create a new file. I'm gonna import Java. Oh, Java file. It's a Java file. Import uh, Java x uh, x dot string dot j dot star public class echo user name mm, we are gonna have public static void main string args and here we're gonna echo what the user has typed in into the input message dialog so to do that I'm gonna define a string variable we're called uh, user said equals j option as you know it show input dialog uh, please type in your name sorry I do make terrible mistakes uh, now we have we are gonna echo it so it's gonna be j option j show message dialog no uh, user said now see here we have not passing this statement as we did in here because this was string and this was not string here the output of this method is string and we are storing the string inside a string variable so we do not need to pass it so having done this we are gonna compile our program oh I'm gonna save it as string echo no we have to put in the same class and the same file name as the class is so echo username dot java and that is gonna save it now I'm gonna run it using compile java and x is probably zero so we're good to go run java please have in your name my name is Monthan and it says Monthan to add a bit of touch we, what we can do is we can just have like hello and then plus the plus it uh, combines the two strings if it's an integer the plus adds them if it's any number the plus adds them if it's a string and a number the plus combines them we've got a star we have to get rid of it so control plus s save we have to recompile it exit code zero we are good to go run it please type in your name again my name is Monthan okay hello Monthan that was quite good so this was our very short tutorial on variables uh, in this tutorial we'll learn how to add numbers using show input dialog and show message dialog and we have learned to how to store string and how to output the string the add you might find the add numbers a bit hard because it's a bit complicated for you since I mean, it depends on you if you if you have done programming before then it's like it's very easy for you but like if you're quite new and if you haven't done any programming before then you might find this hard but do not worry you'll get hang of it quite soon echo username dot java just echoes whatever that you user is typed in with a little prefix here plus user say I've taught you uh, that the plus operator combines two strings it adds two numbers and combines a string and a number so that's it for this tutorial my next tutorial will follow more advanced features of variables and if statements so watch it <laughs> okay cheers Thanks for listening.